This eyeshadow palette has eight shades inside. It does have like a sweet smell to it, almost like a candied apple. So it is giving the fall vibes with the colors and also the scent. Hey there, welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for checking out this video. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of this beauty community. We are doing this eye look. It's a spotlight eye look and we're using the Too Faced Salted Caramel Palette. So, I know it's a little bit early, but when I saw Salted Caramel, I could not resist. I just love fall drinks and all of the fall feels. And I think that this is one of the perfect palettes to welcome in a new season. So we're using it to create this spotlight eye. Let's just get right on into it. Okay, so like usual, I have one eye already done and we are working on the other eye. But I did not put on my eye primer, so we're gonna start with that. I'm using the Anastasia Eye Primer. This one does have some color to it. It. So if you have a deeper skin tone like me, you may want to put it on the back of your hand or on like a little mixing palette and then I'm going to apply it with my finger because it is lighter than me and I don't want to have too much and not be able to blend it out. It is easy to move around like once you get it on and it does have like a pretty nice matte finish which I do like. So that was fast and easy. Now that's done. We're going to start with our palette. So we're using the Too Faced Salted Caramel palette so when you open it up inside you have four shimmers and four matte shades so here they are so i wanted to do a spotlight eye because i haven't really done one in a while and they're kind of fun so that's what we're doing that's what we've got going on here and i feel like it's easier to do than it probably looks so we're starting with the burgundy shade which is make me melt it's the deepest burgundy shade in the entire palette it's great that this also comes with a mirror i got my fingerprints all over it but you can use the mirror so you don't have to you know have another mirror if you're using it on the go and it's a great travel size so that's something you could do so we're gonna put the burgundy on the inner corner on the outer corner and then we're gonna do like a little bridge across the top and as always the placement may be different for you depending on your eye shape so it's a general guide as to where I'm placing it but those are the areas on your eye no matter like how high low that you want to put it and I'm just using a really densely packed eyeshadow brush so I can really pack on that color and I'm mostly going to be tapping because we want a good pigment and color payoff so by tapping it we're really getting the maximum color payoff and when you're doing your spotlight a good rule of thumb is to look straight ahead and where your iris is that's where you want your light color so you basically want to fill in around that part of your eye okay so once we've gotten that to where we want it then we're just going to create the little bridge across we're not going to switch our brush out we're just going to use the edge of this brush and go in with that same color and then just create like a little i mean it really is like a little bridge across so normally where you'd i guess put your crease that's where you're going to create that little shape all the way across okay so now we're gonna go in with another matte shade drizzle it which is this one it's like the second deepest matte shade in the palette and i'm using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're just going to use that color to blend out our line here across the top so you want to start by having it sort of meet where that line is and going a little bit into it and then just work your brush across so we can soften that line. So now that we've got a nice blend going, we're gonna take Ooey Gooey, which is the lightest matte shade, and then a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just use that as a really soft brow bone highlight. So I don't even have a lot on the brush. It's just very little just to kind of soften up the line and brighten under the brow bone. So just softening this area here. And then I just like to blend it down a little bit just so that it's not a harsh line there. We're gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we just used and just a tiny bit of that dark color and just buff it into the outer corner. If I don't have eyeshadow right here, it really bothers me. So I always like to make sure if I'm doing something on the bottom that there is like connection. All right, so now I'm gonna take a really pointed eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go back in with that deep, deep color and we're gonna do the under eye, but just like the top, we're gonna leave a little bit of space 
space in the middle for our spotlight effect. And you don't have to be too, too super precise with this because we are gonna blend it out. Okay, so now we're gonna use a pointy fluff brush and we're gonna go back into our second deepest matte shade. And then we're just gonna blend out that bottom lash line a little bit. And I do like to take this color just across where we're gonna add the spotlight just so that there's like not nothing there, but it's something very light. So now it's time to add our spotlight effect and we're gonna do that with the shade Golden Sugar. And I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. And we're really just going to focus on building up the color in that center part of the lid. This color is so pretty. I love the way that like coppery tones look with berries and purple tones. Okay, so now that we've got a nice bit of color on there, make sure you clean off your brush. And then we're just gonna sort of wiggle the color out into the purple, not all the way across, just where the two meet so that there's not a really harsh line there. So there is some blending going on, even though it is, you know, just that concentrated color in the center. We just wanna make sure that's not so, so harsh. And then we're gonna take a little pointed guy and then just add that copper color to the bottom lash line in the center, just like we did on the top. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna use my Too Faced liner. It's a nice thin pen liner. You can see it has a really nice sort of pointed tip. And we're just gonna do a really tight line on the top lash line. I love that this liner has such a thin brush though because it is perfect when you want to do a very little bit of liner. You don't want it to be so obvious that you did liner. And that is it. I told you it was going to be easier than it probably sounded. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara. I'm using Lawless Beauty Mascara. And then my eyelashes, I'm going to do a thinner, sort of wispier eyelash. And then my lipstick, I'm gonna use some minted cosmetics today and do like a nice deep fall lip to pull the entire look together. Okay, so this is the final look. I love how this lip from Minted pairs perfectly with that deep burgundy shade that we use to really create that spotlight effect. I'm definitely feeling the fall vibes. I don't know if you're ready for it or not, but it's coming. Let me know what you think about this look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There will be new videos coming your way. I'll see you next time. Bye.